I went to Hobby Lobby and they were having clearance and I found some really awesome pieces to make some beautiful home decor. Let's see what I made. This first piece that I found was only $2.24. I took the sanding block and tried to smooth it out a little bit and just get all the rough edges off. It is kind of a rough uh, wood piece, so I wasn't trying to get it smooth, just some of those splintery pieces off. And you saw me using my little tabletop vacuum. I love that thing. I'm pretty sure I have it linked in the description box below under my Amazon favorites. Now I'm using faded burlap and I'm going to paint the top two little sections of this and the bottom section of it. I didn't tape it off because it's kind of a rough, rustic look, so I didn't need it to be perfect. And then I'm going to use, I'm pretty sure this is beadboard or vintage linen. I can't remember exactly which one. Maybe I'll show the lid shortly. Um, and then there we go layered chocolate okay the red line is marquee these are all DIY paints now I'm gonna take the layered chocolate and a big chippy brush and just dry brush some around the edges and just give it a little bit of character and personality now I have these little planks that I got at Dollar Tree and they came in a package I can't remember how many in a package and they were not the right size, so I'm measuring them to the size that I need them for these little rub-on transfers from IOD. And I'm just going to tape the three of them together, take them out to my shop, and cut them with my miter saw. Very easy. Now, these IOD transfers are part of the ephemeral, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, ephemeral melange collection, and they are absolutely beautiful. Now, I got those all cut. Um, out in my shop and I'm going to take layered chocolate and some water and I'm going to water it down. It wasn't quite watered down enough so I sprayed some water on it using a wet wipe. I'm going to use it similar to a stain. I wanted it to be a little bit translucent uh, where you could still see some of that wood grain through. I didn't really want to stain it or wax it because I wanted my uh, transfers to stick. Now while that is drying, I'm going to take the Big Top by DIY and give this piece a good coat. And it's completely dry. So I'm going to give it a good coat of this. I get my DIY products from Sammy at UnicornDustDesigns.com. So go over there and get all your DIY and salt wash needs. Now I'm going to take my Transfers, once this is all, these are all dry, and I'm just going to take a little stick. Sometimes I use a popsicle stick, sometimes I use a little plastic stick, whatever works. I feel like some different things um, work different for different um, mediums, like diff whatever you're rubbing it onto, different things work better. Like I ended up getting a little plastic uh scraper out for this one and it worked way better than the popsicle stick sometimes different wood or different plastic or different metal um, the popsicle stick works better or a wooden stick works better now i'm going to use a emery board and just fingernail file and just rough up the edges a little bit to make it look a little more rustic then i'm going to just glue these to this our original piece that we painted Easy peasy, but it turns out so pretty. I actually love this piece. Then I'm going to take some of that twine you see over on the left. It came from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to glue it to the side on the back. And I'm just going to wrap it around a couple, couple or three times. And then you see that bow up on the top, the right. Um, I had created that for a previous project and decided not to use it. It is just some um, canvas drop cloth that I cut in strips or ripped in strips and then some of that crocheted ribbon from Dollar Tree that I just made a messy bow with. And so I'm going to just glue that right in the center. And that is all I did to this one, I think. 
That's the original hanger. Oh no, I made a little finger bow with some twine to put in the center of that bow. I felt like it just tied together that twine. I felt like it looked a little, like it was missing something in the middle of that bow. So then I just hot glued that to the center, glued that bow down. There we go. This was super easy and I think it turned out so beautiful. This did not come from Hobby Lobby, but very budget friendly. I got these beads off Amazon, a very good price. I think they're linked in the description box below under my Amazon favorites. And this is Marquee by um, DIY Beadboard and Faded Burlap or Vintage Linen. I can't remember. I think I put it on the screen for you. And then I had a little scrap piece of uh, just a little plank wood scrap wood blank and I painted it uh, those same colors and put a rub on transfer on it was a little big um, so I just took my exacto knife craft knife and just trimmed it off and then I burnished it on and that one was done that was easy and now I'm going to string these beads on um, you saw me earlier with those beads on a skewer and those clamps from Dollar Tree and that worked out really good good a good way to paint them and I'm just creating a pattern here stringing these beads to make a beaded garland I love beaded garlands I love to make them I love to decorate with them and so this was super easy and budget friendly and it is just a little added extra piece to go with uh, these other items that I'm creating today so now I had this tassel in my stash that I had created and never used um, I have a video that I can link in the description box below on how to make finger bows and tassels. It's an easy, slowed down, step-by-step -step instructions if you need that. So I'm just going to attach it to the end of this beaded garland. You can attach it however you want to. This is just the easy, easiest way. I know how to attach it. It's how I like to attach it. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put a little drop of hot glue mm, I think I put it on the actually on the bead there we go put a little gl hot glue there stick that together hold it until it's dry and then that's not going anywhere then I decide how I'm gonna do that this crocodile if you don't have one oh my goodness it's the best little tool to punch holes in these little thin wood pieces or any any it'll punch a hole through almost anything then I'm just gonna tie that on the other end of the garland and how easy was that? I think it turns out really cute too. You'll have to let me know. Do you like um, garlands and banners? They're some of my favorites. So I was recording, or so thought I was. Hit the stop button, thought I was hitting the start button. Anyway, you get it. I didn't get recorded me applying the transfer, but I think that you've seen me apply transfers enough that you know how to do that. Anyway, let's see how this piece turned out. I picked up this adorable wall planter for only $1.24. And now I'm looking at my um, rub-on transfer and trying to figure out what color I'm going to paint this little wooden piece. I used my DIY paints and painted little sample colors on this wood scrap piece. It makes it easy to figure out what color it's going to look like dry up next to the transfers. So I chose vintage linen. I gave this a good coat of vintage linen all over. I used faded burlap and layered chocolate with chippy brush and gave it a good little bit of dry brushing on there course this was part of where I thought I was recording but I wasn't and then I took my sandpaper and sanded it down just a little bit got the transfer on there all nice and neat then I took big top and sealed the DIY paint 
and transfer, but it started beating up on the transfer and I didn't like that. So I just dabbed it very gently with a soft cloth to get that off the transfer a little bit. And this is how this simple little DIY turned out. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video with these cute decor pieces. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, goodness, go ahead and subscribe. But most of all, remember to be still and know that He is God. Mm -hmm.